Who is? Julia, what she's more important than my son's birthday right -o, I've never been. Taken to such a fancy hotel you've got. It all wrong, don't you? Were you trying to? Play me for a fool, I will tell you the rest of the scary story, a true horror. Story, my name is Hannah, I'm 43 years old. A part-time housewife, my family consists of my son Robbie, who will graduate from elementary school this year, and my husband Ian, who is a commercial food. Salesman, what's going on? I told you three. Months ago today is Robbie's birthday, and we are going to celebrate it as a family I've already prepared Robbie's favorite beef stew and fried chicken, and now you're suddenly on a business trip. Robbie is going to be a middle school student next year, and he will be busy with his school activities so we won't have time to spend time together as a family. Moreover, he is at the age when kids start to revel. I may not be able to cook for my son's request and celebrate with the whole family anymore. It's been 12 years since my husband and I have become parents. My husband wanted a drink, so I went all out and got him a bottle of champagne, and now he's suddenly going on a business trip. I told you I'm sorry, I'm not going there because I want to. It's my job. I can't forgive my husband for making a face that said he's really annoyed with me. Even though he is apologizing, if you are a father, you should put your family first. I'm a father. I work for the sake of our family. I know that, but you have to keep your word. Isn't that what a man is supposed to do? You should consider my situation a husband's job and his position is important to our family. I understand that, but I know I can't stand your attitude that I have to put up with. You am I the only one who cares about our son's birthday? My husband says this to me with a frustrated look on his face, okay? I will be home early. I will get someone to take over and will switch shift. I will be home in time for dinner. Are you sure? Yeah, I will do my best because it's Robbie's birthday. Thanks. I'm really glad. You understand I'm sure Robbie would be happy today's birthday party was going to be unforgettable. I thought it would be, but... My hopes were dashed that evening I received a message from my husband that made me sigh. I can't make it. I won't be going home today. I was looking forward to it. Oh my God, what about the champagne? You and I were supposed to drink. Together, give me a break. They can't replace me in my line of work. What you can't replace a husband or a father. Either though I was disappointed and my son came up to me. Are you all right, mom? Robbie, I'm sorry that said he had to work. I know. I don't care. You don't have to be depressed. I thought he was just a kid, but he's so thoughtful. Unlike my husband, he's grown up to be a kind man. I know work is important, and sometimes you have to prioritize it. We can't make a living if we only put our family first. I've been selfish. I'm sorry. I'm sure my, my husband works hard and puts up with a lot. Let's put the food in the fridge for now and eat it when D around what, but that's what you wanted to eat today. It's too much for just the two of us, you. Don't want to prepare it and then have to clean up the leftovers, right? Yeah. I will apologize to that later, but let's go to your favorite restaurant, Mom. I want to go to a nice restaurant. I really love my son, Robbie. Thank you. I will make a reservation at the place you've always wanted to go. So I called another restaurant at the fancy hotel. It's a famous hotel used for weddings and special events despite the short notice. They welcomed me with open arms when I told them it was my son's birthday. Robbie, they said they can prepare a small coast for children. Don't do that. I I can eat the same amount as you like a Fudo's meal. I'm sure I can handle it, but just tell me the order of the super rare. I'm making okay with my fingers for my shy. Son, I feel sorry for him because my husband had to go to work, but let's make today a happy day, shall we? After getting dressed, my son and I headed to a fancy restaurant we had reserved to tell the truth. I'm a little nervous too. Have we ever taken the time to eat out? In a relaxed way, since the birth of a child, I try to take my son's likes and dislikes into consideration. I J adjusted the amount of food for myself so that I could eat as much as I could and ordered food that would be safe, even if it got cold, I miss. Those days, it's a good memory. Now, the restaurant we arrived, it was spacious and stylish. The night view from the window was the main selling point of the restaurant, but since we were in a hurry, our seats were near the wall near the entrance. My son, who was seated in a luxurious-looking chair, looked restless. While I was smiling at him, I saw the figure of someone that I had seen before. Um, looks like my husband. No, 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 no way. I thought I might have seen it wrong, because we were sitting far away from the window, but, but when I saw his profile, I was sure it's my husband. He said he was on an urgent business trip, despite his son's birthday today, which 
Made my blood run cold. Why would my husband be here? And who was that young? Woman who was sitting with him, hey. Robbie, it's bad, man, to slum on your chair in a place like this. Sit up. Straight. Okay, I can't let my son be sad on his birthday, so he must not know. But why, why? I want to ask him right now. He's on a business trip. He's having an affair. He's having dinner with a young woman in a fancy hotel restaurant. Mom, when is it? Robbie, what's wrong? Are you okay? I'm sorry. I guess I was just a little nervous. Yummy, too. I'm looking forward to the fuos. I'm looking forward to the foul, too. I put on a big smile and try to enjoy the Foss meal even though it was tasteless to me many times I see the profile of the husband laughing happily, holding the woman's hand touching her. Hair I hope he doesn't notice me and I'm angry why I'm so frightened I'm full. That was was so delicious yes it was good sorry about your dad but you had a great birthday. Right I could only know to his smiling face you lied to me about going out I and do you have a woman who comes before your family since when I swallowed my dose PID the bill and ran out of the restaurant mom look out I bumped into someone it fell on my butt I feel so sad and pathetic that I hit someone and fell down in such a hurry that I couldn't see anything around me are you all right no I'm sorry for not looking ahead you were just eating at this restaurant weren't you yeah I was the man who bumped into me gave me his business card um it's nothing suspicious I'm worried about your injury and I was wondering if I could talk to you that's too suspicious um um thank you for your concern excuse me I took his card and left as if to run away it was my son's birthday we went to a fancy restaurant even had a fast meal I don't know if I've ever had such a bad day after I came home and my son went to bed I sat alone in the living room and thought to myself what am I going to do now I can't just stay silent what has he done, he broke a promise, wasted my cooking, lied to me about a business trip. Took a stranger to a fancy dinner, I'm so angry, you've got to be kidding me, I will never forgive you, I'm not going to go. Crying to you, you can't run and hide from me and I, I will make sure you won't get away with it about a month later, I think I was not feeling well due to stress and lack of sleep, but I tried to live as normally as possible for my son. That day after dinner, my son said, something a little... Unusual mom, I want you to tell me a scary story is scary. Story I have to tell a story for a book. Club event, each person has to tell one. Scary story at the time, yeah, that's it. My husband was playing a video game on his phone and he BS in our conversation. I know I used to love it. Scoo stories were popular, okay. Then tell me a scary story, dad, what that's a bit. Sudden I can tell you a scary story. It's very, very scary, but will you hear me out? Yes, my son noted with a twinkle in his eye, I don't want you to lose sleep, how? Could I am in the sixth grade I started? Telling in my favorite scary story, it's about a family in a town, a family of three, an honest dad, a kind man, and a healthy little boy. They are very close, and always together together, they always play together and go shopping together. They always eat and sleep together one. Day the three of them went out as usual. Today they were going to play at the park, eat lunch, go shopping, and come back. Home it was supposed to be a fun outing, as usual, but the boy noticed something. On the way there were supposed to be three in the family, one more than the other, but there were four, including him. For some reason, mom and dad don't seem to notice who are they who is the girl. With a family of three, why don't mom and dad notice the boy asked the girl timidly, hey, what's your name? Me, my name is Zillia, my son is looking blankly next to my surprised husband. It's scary, isn't it? No, I wasn't scared. It looked like you were scared. You were scared, Dad. What well because? Why nurse would you do that? I went to my son ignoring my husband who was so wide. A, it would surprise Robbie you have. School tomorrow, so why don't you take a bath and go to bed? Okay, I asked my husband again after. Making sure that our son had left the room. So who is Julia Julia? She's more important than Robbie's birthday, isn't? She would huh? I've never been taken to. A fancy hotel like that, oh, what my p. Husband said that in a dazed voice, I don't know what you're talking about out. I think you've mistaken me for someone. Else I was hoping he would admit it and apologize, but he couldn't. You're a pathetic man to think you can get away with it when you've been exposed so thoroughly. Listen, there's more to that. Scary story, I told you what, what a sequel. Would you like to hear a true horror? Story with a girl named Julia is involved in that family of three, but she has a secret she's actually engaged to the heir to a big company they have. 
promise to keep their relationship pure until they get married, but even so, why? Is that it seems that Julia is pregnant. That's a lie, right? Julia insists it's her fiance's child that's impossible. Since their engagement is still an act, the fiance is trying to get the family and the company involved. They are suing to get a DNA test to identify the father, claiming it's a huge problem. What my husband looks at me in a cold sweat and a pale face, I didn't know. I didn't know that what should I do help? Me don't touch me, I swat his hand off. Look, I'm sorry. See, we are like the close family in the story, right? Julia is just a girl who had a little fun with was just a little fun. You would make the girl pregnant, you're not my husband anymore, you're not even. Family don't get jealous cause I'm done. With Julia, no, I'm not jealous, he laugh. His ugly face off, I wonder what I've ever liked about him. But I'm so disgusted with my husband, hey, want to. Hear the climax of a scary story you got. More there's more, the end is the best. Part of a scary story, no, 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 well, it's a scary story about the family that was supposed to be three but turned into four, but before you knew it, there are actually five of them, oh, H is this fifth person, a friend or foe, he's hiding. Somewhere hiding, hiding, he's in the family's house, no, no, are you kidding me, and I'm scared at that moment, the door to the guest room from the living room slammed. Open, my husband was stunned, who is this? Good evening, I'm sorry to bother you, I'm. Vance Julia's. I was greeted politely by the man who I'd bumped into on my way home from a fancy restaurant. Mr. Vance was following his fiance that day after he found out she was cheating on him. He saw his fiance in the restaurant but was hesitant to enter. I was in a hurry and that's when I bumped into him the next day my son said, to me you bumped into him, didn't you? I think you should apologize. Properly I felt sorry and called him. Using the number on his business card, Mr. Vance was glad to hear from me, I'm sorry to tell you, but my fiance was inside. Having dinner with another man, he told me what had happened and asked if I could talk to him if I had seen anything. We connected and I apologized, I apologized for the things. My husband had done, Mr. Vance did not blame me and suggested that we settle the matter together as victims, no, no, no. That's crazy, you came into my house, I'm sorry I came in here and announced, but it's nothing compared to what you did I ask him to come over? He was going to help me if you got violent or if Julia came out and caused trouble. Wait, wait, calm down. I don't believe you about the fiance and I don't believe you about the pregnancy. Hannah, don't fold for it. You're still running away. Maybe we should ask. Her Mr. Vance turns on the speaker, function on his phone and makes a call. The person on the screen is Julia. Of course. Hello, Julia. It's me, V. What's going on? I need to check something. What is it? Julia, you are cheating on me, aren't you? What's going on all of a sudden? There's no way right that's terrible coming from you, my fiance, and you're pregnant. I'm not, of course, not my parents heard it from your mother. Don't talk nonsense. Damn it, mom. Are you serious about him? No way. Hey, I'm your fiance. This is your child. That's impossible. No, this child is yours. Have you forgotten? She scares me scarier than all my horror stories. So I'm the baby's father and no one else. That's what you have been saying all along. I know they can find out who the father is when you're pregnant, Mr. Vance, are you? Doubting me, that's terrible, we haven't done anything, the husband was listening, but he couldn't take it anymore, he interrupted their conversations, Julia, is it mine, what, why? Are you there, is it mine, or is there? Another guy, no, no, you're the only other guy I'm seeing right now, oh, now we know. Oh, Vance, let's talk about it, talk to your parents and your lawyer, bye. Julia, after hanging up the phone, Mr. Vance faced my husband and looked a little happy for some reason. You will receive a letter from the lawyer about the fee for ruining the engagement. Also, our company will contact your company to suspend business. What suspension of business? Thank you for your long business with us. Oh, who are you without answering? My husband's question, Mr. Vance finally set with a smile. I'm so glad I didn't marry a cheating woman, you Julia, and the child can be a happy family of three die. Hope you have a long and happy life. Together, well, that's the end of the scary story my husband insisted, but our voice was finally finalized when my son was putting on his middle school uniform. With the lums some alimony we received, we rented an apartment and started a new life. My son joined the soccer team. He comes home every day covered in him, so it's hard to do. Laundry, my ex-husband, who has lost a big business deal and is a bit of a prior at Work regularly sends me messages of regret. He is con-conly complaining about 
Julia, who is a luxury seeker for spending too much money not taking care of their kids and so on, and he misses. Robbie, I blocked him because I was depressed with his invitation to get back together, saying you're the only one for me. After all, Hannah, would you like me to play with? Robbie, since then, Mr. Vance has come to visit me from time to time. He's kind and reliable, and I'm grateful that Robbie likes him. I'd like to live in peace with Robbie for a while, Hannah, why? Don't the three of us have dinner at that restaurant? Let's replace those bad memories I'm going to save her and enjoy the F-Coast meal that I wasn't able to enjoy last time.